There I am, up on the stage, here I go, play and start do again, here I go, there I go. Welcome back to Stardew Valley. I am your host, longtime listener. Be sure to drop a like. Hit the subscribe button and comment below, and let's see what we've got going on in today's episode. We have yet another day where it is calling for a sunny day tomorrow, so still can't upgrade that watering can like we've been kind of talking about doing, but we do have a bunch going on here. Um, today's Friday, so we will want to go to the traveling cart. Um, we are probably going to need to, um, oh, we need to harvest our wheat down there. And that should get us enough wheat and maybe even enough hay to donate the, those two respective items to the community center. So we'll probably make a uh, community center explosion 2.0 today where we'll take a whole bunch of stuff there. Um, and then other things that I might have on the uh, to-do list. I think I'm going to actually buy the uh, fiberglass fishing rod. I thought you could go straight to the iridium rod. But either I'm not to that level of skill yet to where it's unlocked. Or... Uh, you have to buy the fiberglass rod to unlock the iridium rod. So we're going to do that, I suppose. We'll craft a bunch of bait from our bug meat. And um, that will we'll be able to put that all onto the rod. So uh, what I'm doing here is kind of going through, getting all the stuff that we're going to take to the community center and drop off. And then after we do that and we get our uh, upgraded fishing rod. Oh, other things that we'll need to do today. Since we're harvesting the, since we got the wheat. And you see there, I got 10 hay. So that's perfect because that's how many you need for the community center. Uh, I also have 14 regular quality wheat. So we can donate 10 of those to the community center. Um, and so... What was next on the to-do list? Oh, since we're do since we've harvested the wheat, we have some spots down there that we can put some more uh, melons in. So you saw me grab this star fruit. We'll go ahead and plant that. It's only one, but I think you get like 400 bucks for the single star fruit. Um, although we might actually actually not even sell it once we get it. We might turn it into wine, which is pretty valuable if I recall correctly. Star fruit wine. Uh, but anyway, uh, we'll go to the Pierre's and get some more melons. Um, we'll want to put down fertilizer in the spots where those are going to go. So you saw me grab 23. And the reason it's not 24, even though there are 8 plots here, is because one of them already has fertilizer on it. So here we are putting that down. And I missed a spot. And there it is. So now we are ready to plant more crops there. Um... I don't really remember why I paused it right there. But any oh, I might have just been kind of thinking about what to do next. I don't know why I didn't go ahead and plant the um, the star fruit and the melons that I had to free up those inventory slots, but whatever. So we're going to the traveling cart. Nothing there that we need. Uh Puffer fish will catch. So it's just the rare seed. So that's that. You know, anytime I can buy the rare seed, I will buy it. If I can afford it, I'm going to buy it. For now, at least. Eventually, I won't really care because I'll get um, long term, like end game type stuff. The crops that we're going to have a gazillion of are. Um, we're going to have ancient fruit in our greenhouse. That's going to take a while, but we'll do it. And then in the fields, I'll probably mix it up season to season. But, you know, in the spring, it's going to be 
uh, strawberries in the summer it'll be blueberries in the fall it'll be cranberries because those are the most profitable that are kind of low maintenance in that they continue to harvest after their they reach their maturity and that's what I like because I don't want to have to spend a couple of days each season replanting crops I want to do one day where I plant I water and then the sprinklers do the rest so here we are as you can see the iridium rod is not available so that kind of stinks but still the fiberglass rod since they're you know I rattled off the list of all the fish that we want to try and catch in the summer and it's a long one so that upgrade will make that process easier it's only 1800 bucks so it's not gonna break the bank and putting the bait on there and we have a ton we've got like 350 i think so that'll make it easier for ooh, spicy eel that is a find in the trash because it not only is a good source of uh, health and energy but it has perks too like i think it makes you faster um and maybe something else i can't remember so now we're selling off the extra crops to pierre and I think we are now all set to head to the community center for CC Explosion 2.0. Um, so, uh, I don't think we're going to finish any bundles with what we have here. I could be mistaken, but uh, the, the bundle that I really want to finish, or bundles are uh, the ones in the boiler room. So, oh, I do complete the bundle there. The spring foraging bundle. Forgot about that. So we get spring or uh, f summer foraging bundle. So we get the summer seeds and those will sell for a pretty decent chunk of change. So that's cool. Um, you can plant those and they're worth more obviously if you, you know, grow them. But it's a super quick return on investment to just sell them and then you don't have to work on them at all. So, um, I rarely plant those. Now, sometimes in the winter, I will plant the winter seeds because I don't really have anything else to do in the winter because uh, you don't have a huge field full of crops. So those I will often uh, plant. Also, because sometimes for whatever reason, it, it can be difficult to find like a snow yam, for example. Um, so anyway, CC explosion number two is complete. Uh, what else are we going to do today? We could go fishing. It is 10.50 in the morning. And if we head north here, let me just get organized here because we want to sell those. Uh... <gasps> Why am I doing that? Anyway, um, <clears throat> what I am thinking we're going to try and do here is go up and catch the sturgeon. The sturgeon is the only fish in the summer that you have to catch at the mountain lake. So we'll just knock that out today and then maybe spend a little bit more time in the mines if uh, actually we won't because I don't even have my pickaxe. So we're just going to fish. We're going to catch the sturgeon and that will probably do it for today because with my luck it'll take me all freaking day to catch one. It's only available from, from morning until 7 p.m. So we... You know, we've got seven plus hours to catch it. Um, but anyway, it'll be nice because I think that's actually the last one that we need. Oh, see what I'm doing there is separating out three of my bait so that I remember to put them in the crab pot bundle later. Or the crab pots right there. But anyway, I think the sturgeon will, will have me done with the lake fish bundle. I don't remember what the prize is for that. Uh, but that'll be, you know, another box checked, so that's good. Um, so now I guess while we're, 
working on catching this. Uh, see there, the, the perks. I get one luck, and what was the other one there? I think speed, maybe? So luck is good because if I eat it while I'm fishing here, uh, it will give me higher odds of getting stuff like treasure chests. So we will probably eat that here as soon as we have room for it. So luck and speed, yeah. And as soon as I can eat it without it going like above my maximum energy, we'll do so. There's a treasure chest right there. Get it. Okay, I'll just catch the fish. Um, so I was going to say, while we're just sitting here trying to catch the sturgeon, I will discuss our plans for tomorrow. Um, a ruby. So we'll need to go to the museum now. Uh, I think I have some geodes back at the farm, so we'll probably go to Clint's and the museum. That'll be one of the things on the agenda for tomorrow. It's a Saturday, so there's really nothing else going on. There's no events uh, or birthdays. But another thing or two that I might want to do include... Um, I want to probably build a couple of lightning rods. Not that I need to do it right now. You just want to have them ready before uh, a day of storms. But we have the resources to do it, so we'll build a few. And then I really want to go mining, because if I get two more gold ore, I can smelt a gold bar. And that will complete... Um, one of the bundles in the boiler room. Then I just need fire quartz. So, you know, the quicker we get down into the, uh, the lava lava levels the quicker we can unlock the mine carts and that will be fantastic so now i've got good luck and my dude is faster so that's pretty sweet and right away it pays dividends as we get a chest please be something really sweet prismatic shard would be nice uh magma geodes that's actually good um because if we're going to go to Clint's tomorrow, we might even be able to do that today if we can catch this stinking sturgeon quick enough. And if we get really lucky, we could bust it open, get like gold ore with one, and then uh, a fire quartz with the other, and then go to the community center and unlock the mine carts today. But that would be like some epic luck. Anyway, there's another chest. So you see where the, you know, that buffer that you get, there's an artifact doll. Um, the buffer you get when you eat the spicy eel is pretty sweet. There are other foods that you can eat that give you good luck. Um, and I feel like there's one that gives you not only good luck, but also higher fishing skill. I could be making that up. Maybe you have to eat like two different things to kind of get both of those on a day where you're trying to catch like one of the legendary fish or something. But anyway. Um, I think I discussed all the stuff that we might consider doing tomorrow. We might also do a little bit of fishing depending on how today goes. Um, I really, you know, because if I'm going to come up here and go to the mines to try and get some gold ore, um... We might as well try and catch the sturgeon if we don't get that done today. We still got four and a half hours. Surely we can catch one lousy sturgeon. Right? I mean... Ooh, is this it? Uh, I think that's a bass. Maybe not. Maybe that is the sturgeon. We'll see. There it is. Sturgeon. I like to call him Sturgeon Simpson. For all you Sturgeon Simpson fans out there. Uh, anyway, if you don't know who Sturgeon Simpson is, you need to get on YouTube and look up Sturgeon Simpson SNL, as in Saturday Night Live. And then prepare to have your mind blown because... I'm pretty sure it's the best live performance on Saturday Night Live in the history of Saturday Night Live. Like, that dude just absolutely went crazy. 
Um, and another cool story while we're killing time here, Sturgill Simpson's guitar player in that video is a guy named Lauer Joe Metz. And Lauer is good buddies with my older brother. So, and he's hilarious. He's from Estonia and he's just a riot. Now he, he's no longer with uh, Sturgill Simpson's uh, unit, but he is, he's in a, a Grammy award winning guitar player. So he was instrumentalist of the year, which is a big deal. And anyway, so I like to live vicariously through my brother because he, he's a musician and he is like, you talk about somebody living in a fantasy life. I mean, he'll be playing somewhere like literally one time he's playing at a, at a place in Nashville and Mick Jagger walks in and sits down and is just kind of like chilling. And then he's up dancing and then he gives them VIP passes to the Rolling Stone concert that, that was at uh, the Titans stadium in Nashville. Like, are you kidding me? Who, ha who has that happened to them? But anyway, um, so we got a pretty decent haul here with our fish, and now I'm just kind of trying to decide what I want to get rid of, what I need to keep. We'll keep the uh, the rainbow trout for our collection. You know, uh, one of the reasons why you see me keep a lot of fish. Now, a lot of them you can just sell because you don't need them for the community center, and it's you know not super likely that you would ever need it for like a quest from one of the uh, characters around town, but. Once you get to where, like, you've done everything to complete the community center, and it's late in the game, and you've got, like, just bonkers amounts of money, you can do things like build a shed and put a whole bunch of little end tables in it and then put your fish on display on the tables. So you can, like, kind of have a fish collection shed and theme it to look like an ocean, have little boats and blue wallpaper and anchors on the wall and whatever you get the idea not that i plan on doing that but for whatever reason i just collect one of them all so if you don't like it deal with it um all right we did pretty good today honestly we uh we got the fish we needed we we got some magma geos we got the crops we needed we're gonna have to plant them we still need to water um, because I, you know, I kind of started and then left so that I would, um, get to the traveling cart early and then go on about my day. So that's a strategy that I never really used to use, but I, you know, I actually find that it's extremely helpful. Like if I know it's going to take me as long as five hours to do the crop watering, I can leave right away and go do my errands around town while I know places are still open and then come back and water the crops at night so anyway we will probably do a little bit more of that not every day but on days where I've got like a ton of stuff on the agenda that's something that kind of makes sense so you, you do as much as you can and then water your crops rather than watering your crops and then running it and then getting like to where it's you know 340 and you're at the beach and you can't make it to Clint's on time because it takes 30 minutes to get there or 20 minutes to get there and he closes at 4. Like you leave yourself plenty of time to do that kind of garbage and then come back and do your mining or your watering. So um at this point, we are pretty much just kind of trying to get situated here. And sometimes when I'm doing this, I'm just all over the place. So <laughs> I throw away the old bamboo pole because I'm pretty sure you can't sell it. Now, one thing, it might have been stupid to do that. And here's why. You know, eventually, I won't, you know, need to go fishing anymore. But I could leave my, like, the crappy... Uh, fishing rod up in the chest at the mines. I was trying to pet Cooper there, and instead it opened the chest or the bin. But anyway, uh, you can leave your rod up at the 
uh, mines or other places around town, you can just have extra fishing rods laying in a chest. So it might not have been a terrible idea to hang onto that and just stick it in my chest up at the mines, but not a big deal. I will probably almost never use it, so. Um, but there are some people out there that kind of get a, a kick out of fishing on this game, and those people are weird. <laughs> but for those of you who do enjoy fishing, uh, don't throw away your extra rods because you can just stash them elsewhere so you don't have to carry it around all the time. And let's see. This brings us to the point in the day where I've already kind of covered our plans for tomorrow. We've already done most of what we're going to do today and now we're just watering a thousand crops. So we've got some time for... The fun fact of the day and today's fun fact is that onions were found in the eyes of an Egyptian mummy so Pharaoh Ramses the fourth of ancient Egypt had his eyes taken out and replaced with small onions when he was mummified and I don't know if they're talking like cocktail onions or what <laughs> but uh, the reason that they did that was that Egyptians were all about like symbolism I was about to say symbology but that's not the right word they were all about symbolism and so the layers and rings of an onion to them sim symbol were a symbol for like eternal life and since that's what they were kind of trying to achieve with mummification they would shove some onions into the dude's eye sockets and I find that creepy but super cool at the same time so that ladies and gentlemen is the fun fact of the day brought to you by Robin's Carpenter Shop. Need a coop? Come see Robin. Need a barn? Come see Robin. You get the idea. Anything you need to build, you have to go to Robin pretty much. So. Alrighty. Check the mines here before we hit the sack. Or not the mines, the bat cave. Ooh, we got an apple. So the apple is an item that you need for the community center. And you can hypothetically use it in two of the different bundles. Um, one of them, the fodder bundle that we did the wheat and the hay with, requires uh, three apples. And then there's another bundle, I think like the... I can't remember. Uh, but anyway, like maybe exotic foraging or something. The other bundle, is, one of the options is a single apple. And so you can put it in either one. I might just go ahead and put it in the um, exotic foraging one. With the one where you only need one. And then what I might do before too long is buy a couple of apple trees or fall fruit trees. I think there's apples, and I can't remember the other one. But if I buy one or two fruit trees, I can pop them down on the farm. They'll be ready in early to mid-fall, and then I can get my apples from that. So that's the plan, at least. So there you go. Ooh, $16.50 for the summer seeds. That is not bad for just putting a grape a sweet pea and a spice berry in the community center. So while the community center, you know, you're donating a lot of stuff tech to it, technically, but a lot of the stuff that you get is worth more than what you put in there, and so it's kind of profitable to put stuff in the community center. And not only is it profitable in that sense, you're also a lot of times getting equipment and other valuable things that make life on the farm 
far more efficient. You see down there, we got some peppers ready. So it is day six of the summer. Those, I believe, are radishes, and those look pretty close to being ready. They might be ready tomorrow. But a lot of our other stuff won't be ready for a while. Maybe the flowers, I think, are, are like ready in seven days, so we might have some things coming up. But the blueberries, the corn, the melon, and the star fruit are still going to be a while. I think the star fruit takes like half of the season, so. And we planted it yesterday. Anyway, uh, peppers, you definitely want to keep two, at least two, because you need one for the community center, and then George will give you a quest to bring him a pepper to rub on his knee, because he's got arthritis, and I don't know how that helps, but whatever. Uh, and then we got another couple of uh, trees in our tree empire that have grown fully. So we'll need to get a couple more tappers. In fact, we still need a bunch more tappers, but I just don't have enough um, copper, or at least not copper bars, to do those. So at some point, even though I'm trying to get deeper in the mines, dang it, I wanted to swing by and say hello to Marnie, but she's not open yet. So I probably could have watered a little bit more before I did this, but I want to make sure that we get a lot done in the mines today. That is a, the primary objective, is to get deep into the mines, y'all. So if I go into the mines, what I find sometimes happens to me when I get into mines, and I think I've mentioned this before, you lose track of time very easily. Shane wants a tuna. We probably won't get that, but we'll accept the quest just in case we get lucky. Anyway, um... When you go in the mines, you can lose track of time real easily because when you're outside, you know, the sun goes down, it gets dark, and it's like, oh, it's time to get home here soon. But in the mines, that doesn't happen. So that is another reason why my little strategy of kind of leaving early to start your day and then going back and watering later is a good one because then, you know, you get to the mines and it's like you, you kind of keep an eye on the clock a little bit and all you're looking for is somewhere in the neighborhood of like honestly you want to probably give yourself like a two hour cushion to leave and get back in plenty of time to water your crops so as long as you don't lose track of time by more than that two hours you're fine so anyway um all right we got three things to donate here let's get a reward booyah what do we get what do we get a big blue stuffed animal bear okay so we'll just drop that in the house somewhere it will get in the way but not a big deal man look at that a fruit snack so I got a Joja Cola and a fruit snack out of my uh, out of the garbage bins today and a library book out of the ground so, I mean, it's like, it's here. It's not even 10 o'clock yet, and we're already heading up towards the mines. Sebastian apparently does not like mushroom casserole. Although, while I can't say I've ever had a mushroom casserole, it actually sounds pretty darn good, in my opinion. So, maybe Robin is just a terrible cook. Although, in that family, I would peg Demetrius and or Maru as the crafty ones in the kitchen. But anyway, yeah, see, so we need two more gold to be able to smelt the bar. And I've got a bunch of copper ore there, but it's not nearly enough for me to be, um, you know, for me to have enough to smelt all the copper that I need for my tappers. So we got work to do on that front. It's not urgent. I mean, honestly, I'd need one tapper in, e in one of the each different kinds of trees just to make sure that I get some uh, of each resource from those. But it's, you know, like I said, it's not critical. It's just... A oh, so he can throw bones through rocks and whatnot. So that's, that's not good. As bad as my fighting skills are, I don't need guys throwing bones from across the room at me. And he did some damage. But, what level are we on? 71. Man, we need to get down to level 90 to get the Obsidian's Edge. 
but once we do, okay, I just need to run away from that guy and watch out for bones. Oh, <sighs> literally just said watch out for bones, and he hits me with a bone. <sighs> um, so level 90, we get Obsidian's Edge, and that makes fighting way easier. I could have gone down there and got that copper or silver or whatever it was. Aha! Take your bone and throw it at something else, you punk. Man, these things are usually really easy to kill, but with this lead rod, man, he swings it so slow that... Look out! Golly, I suck! Anyway, with that lead rod, it's just... It takes too long to swing, you know, multiple times. So you're kind of defenseless for way too long. All right, let's see if there's anything down here. No, just go to the ladder. Um, all right, so we are now to level 75, and it's still only like noon, so what do we want to put in there? We get some more copper. Yep. Put that away, that away, that away, and that away, and now. Yep, I think we're good. <clears throat> All right, whoop. We're on level 75, so we should be able to get at least to level 80 today, unless I get into a pickle uh, in combat. But I think, oh no, but I think we'll be all right. So, and level 80, you know, that's one, maybe two days of, of trips to the mines, depending on what else is going on, away from that level 90 uh, benchmark that we're shooting for. Oh, these guys are doing some damage on me. There you go. You gotta back away, swing, back away, swing. And there's our ladder. All right. That ghost shouldn't be too much trouble because they really, they really bounce back when you hit them. All right. Look at that dude. Ooh, crystal fruit. That is one thing we'll need to donate to the community center. Here comes a bat. There's another. Uh, yeah, I was going to say there's an iron ore and an aquamarine up there. But if I can get the ladder, I'm taking the ladder. Because I want to get to at least level 80 today. Oh no, this is bad. i got to watch my health. If I can get it. Stupid throwing bones nonsense. Oh no, they got me cornered. This is bad. Cause look at my health. Okay. Kill, kill him. That was dangerous. I gotta remember that I have that staircase too. I could use that in a pinch. I, I really only want to have to use it if it's like that level where it's all monsters. Oh come on with throwing. Kill him. But yeah, the staircase I really want to save for like the level where it's uh, monsters that you gotta kill, and there's not any ore. It's just kill all the monsters, and then the ladder appears. Those just suck. Like that had to have been on a day where Concerned Ape was doing development work. He's like, dude, you know what we should do? We should actually. I think he's a solo gig. But anyway, he thought to himself, you know what I should do? Is <laughs> make one of the levels totally random where it's just nothing but monsters and they can't go anywhere until they kill all the monsters because that will just make everybody really mad um but anyway all right uh, look out look that oh, come on see when you're swinging down you gotta really have your timing right because it's just like fishing where you have less reach for whatever reason when you're facing downward it's just because of the angle of the camera or whatever so a little bit frustrating sometimes all right so we're now on level 79 we should get to level 80 here as long as i don't get killed by these stupid skeletons um and i won't get killed by these skeletons will i and now here comes a bat, and from the south, so I have to swing down. Anyway, um, 
I was going to say, since we're kind of wrapping up our mining expedition here shortly. Um, oh, no. No! Uh, we'll talk about what our plans are for the next episode. Um, so tomorrow will be a Sunday, which is the 7th. Uh, we'll have to go to the traveling cart. I would love to get a red cabbage. Because that's the one thing that you have to get from the traveling cart in order to complete the community senator in the first year. At, at least that's the only way I know of to get it in the first year. What do we got here? Ooh, fire boots. Because we're now heading to uh, our fire walker boots. We are uh, heading to level A1, which is where the lava levels and gold levels start. So we'll go down here just to see if there's any... Ooh, look at this score. No monsters. And four um, gold or strands. So that's kind of a nice deal. So... <clears throat> and we'll go down one more. And look at this! Three more. So that's plenty of gold for us to do our... Uh, smelted bar and we can actually do two let's go ahead and do that and now what I might actually do <clears throat> I wish I, I really wish I would have gotten a fire quartz I should have looked around on that last level to see if there was a fire quartz just laying there by chance but anyway That'll give us the stuff that we need to complete the blacksmith bundle and I think the prize is a furnace. I'm pretty sure. But I'm actually going to craft another furnace anyway. Because <clears throat> what I will, I'm pretty sure that it's a furnace. And so what I was thinking there is, all right, let's get another furnace. And that way we'll have two in the mines. And I'll put two back on the farmstead. So that we can put some stuff in the furnace when we leave to go about our day. And then we can put some stuff in the furnace when we get to the mines. So that we're kind of always smelting. Or, you know, using as much time as we can to smelt. In the locations where we spend most of our time either, you know, mining or doing other random stuff. You know what I mean. <clears throat> so, we don't have enough space for all of our stuff. And I'm an idiot. I should have taken... Take the lead rod out of your inventory and the staircase you can leave both of those here we'll take those old boots over to the adventurers guild and sell them and then we will just need to kill some time to uh wait on our gold bar although i don't even know if i want to do that i can't remember if i did or not because honestly y'all that's like I think it takes like three hours to smelt. Please tell me I don't just stand around here and wait for that stupid gold bar when it's really not going to do that much good. I mean, yeah, I can get the um, furnace tonight, but like you see here, you can get a couple of decent swords. And I actually thought about it, but then, you know, we're 10 levels away from Obsidian's Edge. So, it would have been sort of a wasted investment. Because I can survive 10 levels with this stupid lead pipe, or lead rod, and then get the Obsidian's Edge. And then it is freaking go time. Because that sword is like twice as good as the lead rod, and you can swing it faster. So, what am I doing here? Hey, Abigail. Oh, playing your flute, and you can't even be bothered. So I think what I'm doing here is going to maybe head back to the farm and empty out my stuff, and then come back for the gold. I'm pretty sure I got that gold tonight. Could be making that up. we got to get this spice berry. Booyah. I think that was there in the last episode, and I forgot it. I could be making that up. See, full disclosure, what I will do is sometimes sit down and play, you know, like six or seven days and just hammer out a bunch of gameplay and then go back and record in sessions of two days apiece. 
So sometimes I forget what I was doing or what I was thinking, particularly. But I can't do a ton of foreshadowing if I don't remember what I did in the future, which is now in the past. So, <laughs> uh, what are we going to do tomorrow? Traveling cart. We'll try and swing by and see Haley uh, and get her a gift, perhaps. Um, and then we will need to go to the community center. Did I just sell that? crystal fruit I th did I sell that crystal fruit y'all my notes literally say like things to do tomorrow or go to the community center and drop off the crystal fruit and the gold bar and now I don't see it anywhere so either I sold it or I put it in a chest where it does not belong all right so we're crafting our uh, lightning rods here so we said we were going to try and do that earlier, and that is done. And now we're just kind of trying to get organized for tomorrow. But anywho, I don't remember, honestly, if I go back and get that gold bar tonight. It's already 8.50, and I'll bet I just said, screw it, I'll just get it tomorrow. In fact, I have gold ore in my possession right there. I'll bet I just smelt it and go to bed. That way it's ready in the morning, and I can take it in the morning. So not a huge deal if I do that instead of going back to get it tonight and like a moron I did bring that lead pipe all the way back to the farm and once we get the big backpack we will keep all of our tools on us all the time for the most part there will there might be times where I empty them out for whatever reason if I have like a gazillion things that I plan on picking up for the day but it'll be rare for us to ever put tools away. Okay, yeah, in that chest was the crystal fruit. So I had it there. Oh, because I probably thought of it as like a foraged good, and not as a mine item. So I didn't put it in the black chest. I put it in my regular one. We will need to get a shed before too long, y'all, because it gets really hard to organize all your stuff. That one tree, that last tree in that row on the right is not as far down as it should be which absolutely sucks because it's going to drive me crazy to the point where I actually at some point might just cut it down <laughs> and plant another one <sighs> because I am OCD to an extent and I want the aesthetics to match so um yeah, so tomorrow we'll try and get to the community center, drop off a couple of items. Uh, it would be fantastic if we could get to the mines early enough to get down to level 90, get us a fire quartz, and finish the boiler room. And that would unlock the mine carts. Um, so we'll see. That's something that we might try and accomplish tomorrow, kind of depending on how the flow of the day is going so but we are really close to that objective the mine carts are nice so basically at the bus stop there's a mine cart that you can hop in and there's also one in the mines and there's one in the downtown area or like right by Clint's so from any of those locations, you can travel instantly to any of the other locations on the track. So you can go from the bus stop to the mines or to Clint's and vice versa and, you know, all of those places. And then eventually you clear, uh, you get access to the rock quarry and that gets added to the location list on the minecart uh, list of stops. So... And the fact that it literally it takes zero time to, to travel between those places is a big deal. Um, once we get the horse, and, you know, the stable and have a horse, it becomes a little bit less of a deal. But there will still be a lot of times where we'll take advantage of them. So, um, what was I going to say? Man, there's, you know, it's, I feel like we've done so much already in this playthrough, and yet we don't have a shed, a coop, a barn, any animals, for that matter. We don't have a stable. 
you know, there's so much that we haven't done yet. We don't have access to the desert. We, you know, I mean, it, it, this game is so deep and there are so many different ways to play it and a gazillion different objectives. So multitasking becomes, you know, a big part of this game if you're going to try and kind of like crush it, which we're trying to do to an extent. Um, but, like I said, it's... It's just, there's so many different things that you can do. And, you know, some people, uh, like when they start out, you get your parsnip seeds. And they go and they buy, you know, some potatoes and some kale and some of, like, every kind of crop. And then they just sell them all. They don't collect them. You know, maybe they sell everything except for the one that they need to put in the community center. And that's just not the way... I tend to play it. I tend to kind of go aggressively towards completing the community center as quickly as possible. Because after that, it's like, now things just kind of don't really matter that much. And then we're just kind of trying to build the most badass farm on the planet. We used up the entire day, y'all. But that is going to do it for this episode. So, be sure to drop a like, hit the subscribe button, and comment below. And we will see you all next time.